and he told them a parable to the effect that they ought always to pray and not lose heart. Luke eighteen one. Devotional, pray persistently. Don't give up. These are the words every tired marathon runner, every exhausted parent, and every weary heart needs to hear. It takes courage to start a project, but often it takes even more courage to persist when we are stuck in the middle and we are not sure we'll, we'll make it to the end. In Luke 18, Jesus taught the parable of the persistent widow. Through this story, Jesus teaches us how to pray persistently because he knows how easy it is to get weary and discouraged. He shows us that tirelessly bringing our needs and concerns to God is not nagging or irritating to him, but rather a sign of a faithful trust in him. Are you weary of praying for something? Relief from some hardship? The salvation of a loved one? Justice, peace, or deliverance? Imagine Jesus himself standing on the sidelines of this long, long race and whispering to you, Don't give up talking to me about this. They are some prayers God will answer immediately, while well, others may take days, weeks, months, years, or even lifetimes. While well, it might seem like those requests have been forgotten or denied, Jesus' challenge to us is this. If he were to return right now, would we still trust his faithfulness? Will you offer him your praise, gratitude, trust, and needs today and every day that comes after? He is faithful and just and will not leave your petition unanswered. Prayer God, I praise you that you are not like humans who forget and fail when we present our needs. You are always mindful of us and always generous and just in your responses. Help me to trust your timing and your character when I remember people and the situation where your mercy is needed. Prompt me to pray and not give up. Amen. Scripture and he told them a parable to the effect that they ought always to pray and not lose heart. Luke 18.1 耶稣设一个比喻,是要人常常祷告,不可灰心。路加福音11.8Welcome. To begin, take a deep breath in with your palms facing down as a sign of letting go of whatever is distracting or weighing on you. Then breathe out slowly. Lift your palms up to show you are ready to receive whatever the Father has for you. Honor God. God is not like people who can be fickle and forgetful. God is constant, good, and true to his word. He has never, not even once, forgotten you or something you've talked to him about. Praise him for never forgetting his promises or his people. God's will. Then he said to his disciples, The harvest is plentiful, but the labors are few. Matthew 937 God never forgets that people are lost without him he loves them and his will is to reach them his first instruction is to us is to pray so pray today that god will send out workers to every person and place 
even to people who seem resistant, disinterested, or hostile to him. My concerns, call to me, and I will answer you, and will tell you great and hidden things that you have not known. Jeremiah, thirty-three, three. Are there things you never had the courage to pray for, or things you prayed so long ago you've given up asking? God wants us to ask boldly and to keep asking, share specific concerns with God, where you are still waiting for an answer. Thank God. And he told them a parable to the effect that they ought always to pray and not lose heart. Luke, eighteen, one. God, thank you that you never forget our past prayer requests, and you never leave things undone. Teach me to trust that you are always at work, and to keep praying and not give.